you hear me clap three times. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, no, uh, this spoken word piece is near and dear to me. I've been working on it for a couple of months. Uh, but it's been near and dear to me. I've been working on it for a couple of months. And this is for anyone and anyone who wants to ignite social change. Don't be an activist because you'll just be angry. Angry to know that everything that's evil in this world is rooted in this white supremacist, anti-black, anti-indigenous, capitalistic, heterosexual system. The creators of the matrix, they have said it the best, that once you become conscious, that you can never come back. With liberation comes work. With liberation, it takes work. And most times, it'll weigh on you, like a burden. Ignorance, it must really be bliss, because it's exhausting to have to go through post, through post, through post, on all forms of social media, and to be like, damn, that's messed up. To have to have an argument with your well-intentioned but racist friend, and to say that my microaggressions in the classroom don't exist, or that racism doesn't exist because we had a black president. To have to see another Caucasian fraternity have another Cinco de Drinco cross the border party, or to see another black body get gunned down by a gunman named Officer, or to see the newscaster blame the victim, but support the rapist. But it's cool. You fight on, you fight the good fight. There are going to be critics along the way, and a lot of the times they're going to be your own people. That you're an opportunist, that you are a sellout, and that once you make it big in college and university, you'll forget about the little people, and you'll forget about the good fight. And so you start thinking to yourself that you're not really down because they're telling you that you're not really down and then you see yourself as a problem. Maybe that I need to have more events to ignite social change. You know, I'd actually, I don't think I had enough fundraisers to raise enough money for the community. And then you start to look within yourself and you start to second guess everything and anything that you believe in and you burn out. You get tired of being tired and you just want to be normal. But you have to realize that being normal means you sit in a room full of fire and think that it is just fine. To see people in marginalized communities have to go through the same mold, same mold, and you say that that is normal. I have way too much love in my heart for everyone within myself to just sit down and to do nothing. The thing about activism is, it's not a sprint. It's a lifelong marathon. And the key component is not the strength in your legs, but the power that's within your heart. So you have to protect that. You have to pace. Give it resilience, because the moment that you look too far into your own steps, you begin to lose vision. And so you need to keep your head up. Never lose sight of your finish line. This world does not need normal. It needs a relentless pursuit for compassion. And so you disrupt the, you disrupt the corrupts Talk about the setup, stand up against their organization, and turn up against oppression. Because you are more than an activist, you're more than being different, you are greatly and deeply necessary.